since I was like six or seven, you know, racing each other, I always said, you know what, I'm going to the Olympics. I can't even explain what, what feelings came over me when I realized I ran the A standard and I'm going to the Olympic Games. To actually get to this point and have actually ran the A standard in a country saying, yo, we want you to represent us is, I mean, one of the greatest feelings in the world. It really hasn't sink in yet. And I think that's because, I mean, being an NCAA athlete, you know, going to NCs and going to Big 12s, you know, you get a certain ex expectation. It's like, all right, I'm expected to do this. So it's like, I was expected to go to the Olympics. So now that I'm going, it's just like another track meet. But like I said, once I get there, I think it'll hit me and I'm like, all right, you're here. Sitting down and talking to Coach Revelto, he told me, you know, when you come here, if and when you come here, it's not going to be about the team. It's going to be about Jeffrey. And no coach has ever said anything like that to me. So coming here and being a Wildcat, what's there not to say? To get to the Olympic final would be big. And if I do get in the Olympic final, I plan to medal. I'm a very big competitor. I know Coach Velto said that. A lot of people have said that, but I do not like losing. I don't like settling for second place, third place, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to, to get to that final. Since I was like six or seven, you know, racing each other, I always said, you know what, I'm going to the Olympics. I can't even explain what, what feelings came over me when I realized I ran the A standard and I'm going to the Olympic Games.